As we have already taken the reference of a delegate, now in this video we will cover the generic delegates. As we have already covered the feature of generics that we can pass the data type at runtime. Now here we will be provided with some predefined generic delegates named func, action and predicate. So here we are going to cover these delegates here and we'll see how can we utilize the generic functionalities right here. Before getting continued with the implementation of generic delegates, let's see the three methods which I have defined right here. The first method is returning a void and taking a string parameter. Second method returning an integer and taking a couple of integer parameters. And the third one is returning a boolean. So on the basis of the return type of the, these methods, we can plan the generic delegates which we want to use. Like here, you can see there are three delegates has been used inside this main method. First one is action, which is specified for any method returning a void. So inside this action, you can only pass the parameter types like here. I have taken one string. I pass this string right here. If you will see the structure of this action, you can see there are 16 overloadings available and all are taking the inputs but they are, there is no parameter for taking the return type because it is obvious in case of action that it will be returning the void. In case of func you can see all the three parameters are of integer type because the first two in my case are the parameter types while the last one is the output type means the type of value your function is returning. So let's give a look to this function. So here you will see like this is the signature I am working with two in parameters of t1, t2 and another one is last one is out the means return type. So that is for sure like whenever you will be working with func there must be some return type of your function that must not be void. And lastly in the predicate you will not get much options like action and func here is only one option that is one input type in the parameter that you can pass. So here I have passed the string as the parameter and return type you don't have to specify because predicate will only take care of the booleans. But the restriction that you will find with the predicate that it will take only one parameter in the methods. So if in a method where you want to return a boolean if you want to take multiple values in the parameters you can go for func where you can specify boolean as a return and different input parameters as the type you want. And the way to invoke these delegates will be as similar as before. Like for invoking you can just pass the name of delegate along with if you want to pass the arguments. Of course if a uh, signature is telling you, you can pass that parameter and then you can invoke this delegate whether it's action, func or predicate. 